This is, this is chapter five loops, programming exercise 27, display leap years. So we're going to write a program that displays all the leap years, 10 per line from 101 to 2100, separate by exactly one space. Also display the number of leap years in this period. So between 101 to 2100. Now, before we do that, let's understand what exactly is a leap year. Well, leap year is a year that appears every four years. And this year in particular, or this or the year that appears every four year in particular, right, has 366 days opposed to the common year, which only has 365 days. So how do we solve for that? Well, simply with that given information, we know that Every year that is evenly divisible by four, it is a leap year. But there is a little slight, uh, slight issue with that. Not all years that are evenly divisible divided by four is a leap year. There are one rule in particular, and that rule is if it's also divisible by one hundred, then it's not a leap year, unless is also divisible by 400 than it is, all right? So you might be a little confused. So let's take a look at these three years. We're gonna take a look, we're gonna grab 120. Put that in mind, right, 120, and we'll go back here. Is 120 divisible evenly divided by four? Yes, so that means it's possibly a leap year. But we have to do one more check. Is it, is it also evenly divided by 100? No, it is not. Therefore, now we know for sure it's definitely a leap year. It's divisible by four, but not divisible by 100, then it is a leap year. Now, 1,000, for example, is 1,000 a leap year? Well, is 1,000 divis evenly divided by four? Yes. Is it evenly divided by 100? Also yes. So that's an issue. If it's also evenly divided by 100, right, One, the year 1,000, then it is possibly not a leap year. And because of that, we have one more check. Is it also evenly divisible by 400? Well, yes to four, yes to 100, no to 400. And because of this right here, of this last rule, it 1000 is not a leap year. Because it's divisible by 100, but not by 400, it is not a leap year. All right. And lastly, year 2000 is a leap year. Well, follow this rule again. Is it evenly divisible by four? Yes. Is it evenly divisible by divided by 100? Yes, and that's a bad thing. But one more check. Is it also evenly divisible because it because it is evenly divisible by 100? Is it also evenly divisible uh, divided by 400? And if it is, then it is a leap year. And in this case, year 2000, it is divisible by uh, four. It is divisible by 100 evenly, but because it is also divisible by 400 evenly, it is a leap year. All right, so with that in mind, let's tackle this. Let's tackle this exercise. All right, maybe I shouldn't even have gone all that. That might have all that, all that, all that use of the word divisible. All right. So what we're going to do is actually use a loop for this, right? The easiest way to do this is to loop through this. So what we're going to do is that we're looping through uh, the year 101 to the year 2100. So we could say something like short possible year to identify what we're doing here, right? It makes it easier to remember possible year starting at year 101. And for the possible year, we're going to go from 101 all the way to 2100. And for every iteration, increment possible year by one. All right, now here's what we have to check, right? We have to check, hey, is this year, the first year that we're gonna check, 101, is it divisible by four? All right, does uh, four evenly divide 101 or the possible year or 102 if we're on the next iteration if that is true well there's one more thing i want to check if possible year is also evenly divisible by 100 because if it is 
then I have to check if possible year is evenly divisible by 400. And if we go through all that, and if it's actually evenly divisible by 400 also, then yes, we know that this is a leap year. And because of that, I'm going to actually create a variable to really to identify it, to remember it for me. And I'll say, hey, is leap year, it is true. So I'm gonna set that to true. Okay, now here's the thing. If it's evenly divisible by four, but it is not evenly divisible by 100, then hey, that is also a leap year. And I also want to identify that part too. All right. Now, after I have all that identified, simply I'm going to keep track of it. I have to keep track of all the possible years that are going through. And let me see, I don't know how many there are. So for now, let me try using bytes. Uh, leap year counter and of course we're going to start that zero because I don't know how many leap years there are and if there are any well then I'm going to start counting so I have to do a check hey is leap year true well did I get a true did it was it ever set to true if it was then I have found my first leap year so leap year plus plus and I'm just going to well also do a line counter right because I also have to be uh, I also have to display uh, 10 per line. So let me keep track of it. So leap counter plus plus. And because of leap year counter, that will be my line counter basically. I don't have to create another variable for a line counter. So I simply say, hey, if leap year counter modded by 10, if it does not equal zero, then just display that number on the same line, that leap year on the same line. So just print out whatever it is, is the uh, possible year, right? And let's put a little space in between. Else, I assume, right, there are already 10 on that line. And if there are 10 numbers on that line, then pretty much print that number in a new line. Right, so let's take a look and let's see how that works out. And looks like it didn't work out. Let me see why. If leap year modified by 10, leap year counter, blip, blip, blip. All right, why didn't it count correctly? Okay, so I have all these numbers here. Mm -hmm. I make sure to increment leap year counter uh well just to make sure it looks 104 is a leap year and i start at 101 102 is 102 does it evenly divide is it evenly divided by four no how about 103 no 104 yeah all right now here's the other issue is my um my Wait, 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 did I? Okay, yeah, I did. I print out a new line. So if this is, is that equal zero? Hmm, all right, so let me just do a little check. So what I could do is after this for loop, I wanna make sure my, uh, my leap year counter is actually counting correctly. There are leap Oops, looks like I have to create this variable outside because I can't use it inside here. And the reason for that is because this leap year counter only exists within the scope of this for loop. So if I try to use it, it won't exist unless I bring it to outer scope. There are X amount of years between 101 to 2100. All right, so let me run that again and let me double check. There are negative one, negative 27 years between 101 to 2100. All right, so I found my issue. My issue is basically because I used the bytes variable. Now the bytes variable only holds up to the size of 127. 
Uh, what's it called? Let's see. Is it max value? So max value, it can only hold up to 127. If it goes over, then what happens is this thing called a overflow happens. Overflow hap means that it will go 127 and it goes and it goes over 127 and the max value of 127 it will go into the negative negative uh 128 and it'll count from there and it end up being two negative 27 right so it's negative 128 uh negative 127 negative 126 125 negative 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 all the way to negative 27 and that's why byte in this case isn't very good for this so why do i increase this by one by the next size which is a short all right and because of that that works and it looks like i should do a new line here so that will be easier to visualize and let's bring that to the top actually you know what to make it even easier to, for to visualize let me use a string builder so I'm going to have a string builder here. Uh, SB short for string builder. And we'll hold on to our leap year. Leap year equals new string builder. Uh, string dot format. Let's do percent zero four D comma, comma uh, possible year. And we play this with this right here. And let's run that again. All right, so now that is easier to see. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's 10 numbers per line. And then each of these lines are leap years. And we got a total of 485 leap years, right? Leap years between the years 101 to 2100. And just to verify, remember, I said that 120 is a leap year, correct, right? Because 120, four evenly divides 120, 100 doesn't. And if 100 doesn't, we don't have to check if 400 goes into it. But if 100 does go into it, then we have to check if 400 goes into it. And 400 goes into it, then it's a leap year. Otherwise, it is not. And that is what we followed with this logic right here, right? And 1000, let's look for 1000 because we know that after we checked, 1000 is not a leap year. So 1000 does not appear right here. Co reason for that is because even though 1000 uh, four evenly divides 1000, 100 also evenly divides 1000. And because of that, it is not a leap year unless 400 also evenly divides 1,000. And then here is, uh, where's 2,000? And here's 2,000. 2,000, 4 go into it, 100 go into it, but also 400. So it is a leap year. And now we calculate that there are 485 leap years between 101 to 2,100. And that is pretty much it for this exercise.